in the name of all that's icy, can snowflake be an insult? Individuality incarnate, isolation inviolate, crystalline collectivity. Let me relate the power of the snowflake. How many have gently floated down from the heavens since time began? And each one totally unique, merging with millions of its fellow flakes on the ground. Our protagoflake will become part of a rock-solid ice wall to spread the random and capricious heart attack to the careless snow shoveler or surrender itself to the wind and form a whiteout across a nearby motorway. Thicker than the thickest piece of power. Grinding gears and squealing tires, the police block roads, the drifts grow higher. Snowflakes stall cities, stop countries from functioning, bringing everything to a wonderful white and holy standstill, like a pearly string of Christmas Sunday mornings. Hooray! Hooray! No school today! You'll have to work from home. Sure, snow will melt in the spring, but it'll be back ere too long. Climate change notwithstanding. And all year round, snowflakes will keep a wary eye on this weary world. Settled high on peaks of over three thousand meters. That's the power of the snowflake. Individuality incarnate, isolation inviolate, crystalline collectivity. How, in the name of all that's icy, can snowflake be an insult? <laughs> <laughs>